everyone welcome back in my channel today hope you are doing good and well so today we are on the day number 10 and we almost done 50% of this white paper in the last few videos we understand about csdm foundation domain design domain build technical manage technical domain and the sell and consume today we are going to be discuss it's not a domain it's it's a part of the csdm that who is actually managing that this is what service now put that in the middle and that is called manage portfolio he is the service owner there can be multiple service owners as well but this service owner is who is responsible from the overall service perspective let's say if a company is providing hr recruitment consulting three different services then there may be three different service owner who is managing the complete portfolio let's see what service now mention for this in the concept so it's a, a managed portfolio domain even though it's called as a domain so it means we have total six domain in csgm if service now take it as a domain but if you see on the on the first or second page service now call them only five domains if we are adding this that is become a domain for me the managed portfolio domain is a csgm domain that represent portion of five previous domain so it is a combination or it is taking few 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 things from these five domains including foundation as well okay for the many organization the service owner responsible more than one business service in the sell or consume it means ultimately this person is mainly responsible for this section but at last he is i'm not saying it is managing he is responsible for everything maybe somewhere he is accountable maybe somewhere he is responsible this is what the definition says here okay it is it is by having the visibility and oversight that services owner encompasses the true breadth of the responsibility their work is to make sure that what we are selling in the market they should able to present that to their customer and get the business this is what my understanding says here for example service owner for hr may have financial responsibility as a business application which is under the service which, which is under the hr or may have a direct responsible for overseeing the deployment of hr application known as a application service it means somewhere this portion we are talking here so it's again depend on the customer to customer company to company account to account that what and how many person they are putting into the service owner so if i say like one person is playing a role as a country head it means in that particular country if he is handling four or five services he is a service owner for me country head he can we can say on the on the top level but technically if i say he is a service owner who is owning those services who is taking responsibility to get a business and supporting the teams to get a business and running in the show in the background okay and also if you see the example though the hr service owner may not be responsible for the troubleshooting or the repairing of these application service but he is responsible for the technical and the service offering again it is there's a there's a no standard definition by which we can say that okay this person is only responsible for this in some cases he can be accountable but in some cases he can be responsible at point of time but according to my experience in in my experience i can say this is the person who is managing the complete portfolio and that is a service now called this domain is a manage portfolio under this it's just persona but this persona cover something here something here as well maybe something here as well business capability as well if is a is the case of your in in the customer space or in your account area so this is what the service now say as a managed managed portfolio with this particular concept we have done for the all of the found all of the uh, our domains discussions here now the next topic if you see on the on the presentation part that 
how the CSDM conceptual model is related with the CMDB table because this is what important for us to be understand. In the beginning, we say that CSDM is a combination of two, two major terms, common services and the data model. Data model that how to store common services, which is available for everybody. Okay. But ultimately, it is a next layer on the top of the CMDB. This is what I can say here. As service now say that CSDM is available for all the customers without installing any plugin. It means it is coming out of the box. Okay. So now we have to be understand that if I say the business capability, if I say the business application, if I see the technical service, in which particular table we have to be stored. Now, this is the place where more than a consultant the architect or the developer need to be take or pay attention here because this is what their time to understand that okay this data should go to this particular table here so it says that in this section we will look how these conceptual objects because these are the conceptual model if you see on the top and maybe if i go here here on this part so you can see it's this is basically a conceptual model why conceptual we already discussed because it is still in the evolving phase. You can use this conceptual model and you can build it. In the, in the upcoming slides or in the upcoming videos, you will find out that how I can implement CSGM in my organization, in my customer area, in my accounts area specifically. Okay. But before that, it is, it is required for us to be understand that how this concept is related to the, these concepts. Because ultimately, these all table are coming from the CMDB CI only. This is a fact. It means for this, the base is CMDB underscore CI table. Now, on the top of that, we have a lot of tables available. So, what service now says, and I highlighted few of the red areas as well. But before that, let's say the mapping in figure 8, this is figure 8, are straightforward. But please be advised that this mapping will continue to evolve. Now, I'm sure you can understand this part that why it is called and saying as a conceptual model here. This is what that why it's saying conceptual because conceptual model can be changed. It's it is just a concept with service now stakeholder things and a team build up one service now. Says, so like like I say, incident management process, it is not a conceptual. It is well proved and verified and tested and used model. So service will never say it's a conceptual one, but CSDM is a still conceptual. Someone think, people think, people design, people build it and still in the evolving phase. Maybe in the next release of, of, the, of the, or maybe the next one, uh, which is coming the, after this Tokyo, they evolve this. I'm not sure that they, maybe they remove some tables, they add more tables, they remove they put some more on the standardization of the reporting and all the things will be there. So now we have to be understand that which table is going to be map which table. And also one more thing which is important to understand. In this conceptual model, there are the three or four terms. There are the three or four components which are not the part of the CMDB, which are not the part of the CI table. It means they are not directly related with the incident change or problem. Please, be, please make sure that this point you have to be clear in your mind because this is one of the question I was I was doing this um, online training on the CSGM fundamental and this question was there a lot of time that which is not a CI or which is not a part of a CMDB table. So don't get confused. So it says capability can be mapped to the business CMDB CI business capability table application business application not application business application go to the CI app Information go to the information object. SGLC will go to the CMDB SGLC component. This is again a table available here. Let me see if I can open this because I I typed this part, but I I did not get <coughs> CMDB underscore SGLC underscore com dot I'm sure the spelling is wrong. Yes, spelling. P O. Okay, let, let me just. P O N. Yep. P E P O N T. Okay. 
out maybe again the spelling can be wrong something but this is a table or maybe it is possible that it is not installed in my pdi as well like i can be um be assured on that part as well okay then technical services go in the service technical but as a service classification as a technical part so if i say here let's say if i open it service or i can say technical services you can see so in this part if you see you can get the type the service classification you can see here see this is what they are saying because it is going to the cmdb ci service technical part this one it is going it's a classification the offering if you go it will ask for the offering as well so if i change to the technical to the business uh, services then again the same thing will come for me here i'm sure that uh, my my colleagues my friends who are in the development area they can understand much better than than me here because it's complete technical part application service is combination or having these three or four ways what this this is the way that how you can bring or build your groups application specifically you can see which we discussed in the previous one dynamic ci group is part of the cmdb ci query only so it means these will be used to develop or gather all the ci related ci in a one place and cm dynamic ci group will help you to use that part then infra ci is all your server database network ips will become here service portfolio is a spm uh, coming from spm but it is not a cmdb table so don't get confused that is an i highlighted with the red color so don't get confused business service in the same manner and request catalog again everybody know it's a sc underscore catalog not a cmdb or the ci table okay so this is what a service now say all about on this particular area which we want to be cover here okay now i'll take a little break again and we'll come back with the next discussion that how i can implement csdm in my organization i'm saying it is it is very much required for everybody and specifically the next video is important from the consulting perspective so if you like this video please put your comments and share with your friends and colleagues see you again guys thank you so much